Once upon a time in American history, a study had been conducted on a small group of children from different races. This study took place in the 1950s. When given a choice between two dolls, a black and a white one, the children were asked to choose the doll that they thought was prettier. All of the children chose the white doll. Some children stated that the white doll was prettier because the skin was lighter. Some also stated that the black doll was not pretty because the skin was dark. No one guided or instructed the children to make their choices. It was simply the influence and implication of the dominant culture that suggested this. In most communities in American culture, the standard of beauty had already been established, solidified by its residents just as much as it had been with apple pie and the American flag being the symbols for the country. This was the subliminal message that had been received by all, the seeds were planted, and many subconscious minds accepted this as fact. Communities of color had also received this message and also used American standard of beauty as a measuring stick for themselves. The black community had already been subjected to hundreds of years of discrimination and Jim Crow laws set in place that left them feeling like they were falling behind in an eight lap race that others had been given a five lap head start in. And now they had to internalize the notion of their skin not being pretty enough by standards established by the dominant culture. The right choice was created to confront this myth and to let it be known that each community should use their own measuring stick to measure their own beauty. We are all unique individuals within ourselves. No one person or group should, should, should suggest that there is only one standard of beauty. As a form of positive reinforcement, parents, guardians, caregivers, or anyone in charge of the mental well-being or has influence over a child should always be aware of the seeds that they are planting in that mind of the child. Remind them that they are beautiful and unique inside and out. Children look to you, the parent or guardian, for their self-worth, and the seeds that you plant in their minds will help them to navigate through this life as they grow and transition into adulthood. It is my belief that we are all unique individuals and we were all given a gift to use to help us live our lives. Teach your children internal as well as external beauty. If we focus all of their attention on their external attributes, it takes the focus away from them discovering their internal beauty and it could lead to vainness and superficiality. The external world includes operating from the five physical senses, which are seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling, and touching. Very few people take the time to learn about or introduce children to their internal world, which includes the six higher faculties of the mind, and they are the imagination, perception, memory, reasoning, intuition, and will. They are very important to your growth as a human being. It is okay to let your children know that they are beautiful. Having images that reflect themselves is a must, but letting them know about their internal world and internal beauty is necessary. Whatever you do or however you choose to raise your child, make sure your decision is the right choice for them.